I noticed a number of people were asking me questions about this grounding and neutral and why it was not okay this is in a 110 volt sub panel why it was not okay to jumper from the chassis ground that's I'm going to say chassis ground is this box with the wire right there with the ground uh, safety ground right there and the neutral because they go to the same place back at the panel well here's what I come up with as kind of a demonstration of why that's really not a great idea now I've got this set up with a light bulb and all this and if I turn this on the light bulb comes on okay hot leads here this one this wire here goes to the light is a hot lead these are the neutrals and of course that's the ground now if I disconnect let's say the neutral gets disconnected now I've got the neutral disconnected right there now nothing happens because there's no power going through the load and back it comes up to the load uh, through the hot wire but when it comes back there's an open now this is with the ground and the neutral separated now let's hook them together now note I've removed the neutral wire okay the light works now some might say that's a good idea but it's really not because the ground wire is what I call a virgin wire a virgin wire should never carry power through it there's too many problems with carrying power through ground so I'm going to go a little farther on this and see if I can come up with why this is so bad now I've disconnected this ground wire right here and we go to turn it on okay it doesn't come on so because the power was going through this ground wire it doesn't come on and if I put my probe between the hot lead and the ground I get power now note I've taken my other lead from the meter and put it onto the ground wire because this ground is disconnected and there's no connection through the neutral then if I was to check here I would find power that just made this box hot the box is hot so what's happened here power has fed let me pull this terminal off power is fed through the hot then it's switched and it's uh, goes through the light comes back through the neutral there's no path back to neutral from the box here there's a path over here to the chassis of the unit so once that chassis disconnected that ground and grounds can be disconnected very easily uh, there's oftentimes they're using a the conduit for ground and all sorts of crap and so there's not a good path my box just got hot I'm gonna give you a further demonstration of this to give a further demonstration of this I have taken my meter lead here and put it to the chassis of this box and then I've got another disconnect service disconnect here and if I touch it I've got 120 volts so if I were to touch the chassis of this box and standing in water uh, touch a metallic ground of some sort this is why we separate the ground from the neutral in the sub panel the conditions could be if the conditions were correct you could end up with getting a shock by touching this thing and being grounded in, with some other part of your body that's the reason for it I hope it makes sense